So I had this chalk around, and I'd been playing around with it. I just poured out some of the chalk, and I took a rag, and I just started rubbing it on the wall. And, and my arm made a kind of natural motion and left a smudge, this big blue smudge. So the smudge was the first one, and then what would be next? Enlarge the smudge until it covers the whole wall. So that the smudge expands, the wall contracts. <laughs> I didn't want to make a mural. And to me, a mural is something that extends to the edges and creates a complete and total illusion. In other words, a window into the wall. You can't put a mark on the wall without having something illusionistic. But to simultaneously counter that illusion by somehow giving back the wall. And the wall becomes part of it, and the particular texture of the wall, and the kind of paint that's on it. You know, there's that great thing that John Cage said about Rauschenberg's white paintings. They're airports for light and shadow. Standing here looking at this thing as it, you know, started expanding, and the way the light changed, it just reaffirmed my belief that the idea is only a small part of a work of art.